welcome back to my channel. If you have not seen this face before, my name is Laura Diulio and I do mainly beauty and tattoo related videos on my channel. For this one, if you can tell from the title, it's going to be a tattoo related one. So this is going to be the first video of a series that I want to start that's going to help me talk about certain topics while also going through each piece that I have on my arm and kind of going into further depth of describing them. So for example, the first video that I want to do today is going to be on my lady tattoo. And since this is the first one that I got from my current artist, I wanted the topic to be picking a tattoo artist. For this little series, I kind of want to go in chronological order as to when I got the tattoos, just so it's a little bit more organized and I can plan the videos out a little more easier. For the first video, it's going to be about my lady tattoo that I have. I got my lady tattoo in the summer of 2014 before I moved up to Orlando. My entire arm has been done by the same artist. Of course, as always, I will leave her Instagram down below, but this was the first piece that I got from her. I originally saw the design on her Instagram and just fell in love. I knew that I wanted to start my arm out with something that was super feminine. I really just purely like the um, design and drawing of it. And then it wasn't until later on that I realized that it was very, very similar to a picture that my mom has of her on her wedding day. I will insert the side-by-side -side picture of my tattoo and the one that I'm referring now. I just really liking the design and then also having the meaning of my mom on her wedding day behind it just really solidified the idea that I wanted this tattoo. After I knew that I wanted this design, I had to decide whether I wanted to get my arm in black and gray and color. And that was pretty easy for me. I do have one color tattoo and I have said that if I could go back I would get it in black and gray and that still stands true. I definitely am a black and gray tattoo preferred person. After I knew I wanted this I just emailed Soledad, we set up an appointment, all that stuff. I did have to travel for this tattoo. She was located two hours from where I was living so I you know, I didn't mind making the drive because I really liked her style. So once I got to the shop and met her, I just really felt comfortable even though it was kind of my first big tattoo and I was nervous. So she showed me the rework of the design because whenever I saw it on her Instagram, it was a little bit older. So she did go in and rework it and I loved the design even more after she showed me it reworked. So she just applied the stencil. We didn't have to move it around too much and then we just got started on tattooing. It wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be at all. The only time I would say it was pretty painful was maybe on my shoulder blade and maybe a little bit right here towards my armpit area. But besides that, it was super easy. It was my first time getting shading, so that was kind of a different sensation. I don't know that she was going to do it all in one sitting, but the appointment after me actually had canceled and I'm the type of person that just likes to push through, so we finished this in one sitting and it took five and a half hours. The drive home definitely wasn't the best part of it, so if you are traveling to get a tattoo and it is on an area that kind of won't be super comfortable when you're driving, I would say maybe try to get a friend to go with you if they're willing, you know, to drive and sit there. My boyfriend went with me last time and it definitely was nice not having to drive after just because, you know, not only are you super in pain and usually super drained of energy, but if it's in an area that's like weird to maneuver, driving can kind of be difficult. So yeah, after I drove home, um, since it was kind of my first big tattoo, my healing process definitely was something that I wasn't sure of and it showed in my results. I have since had to get this touched up and uh, mainly because there were certain um, spots missing in the roses and just because it was a little bit older so I wanted it refreshed. But I definitely didn't do a good job healing this. Um, I'm glad that my artist understood and has since reworked it or gone over it and reworked it. After I got this tattoo, I knew that I wanted to stick with my artist for the rest of my arm. There were certain aspects that really made me decide that that I'll touch on a little bit later whenever I'm talking about the topic. So now that I kind of went into more detail of this tattoo, I'm gonna go on to the topic that I wanna talk about, which is picking a tattoo artist. I think finding someone that you really mesh with well and someone that you really 
love their artwork is probably one of the most important parts of getting a tattoo. So when I decided that I did want to start on my arm, I wanted to find somebody whose art I just really appreciated and someone who I was really comfortable with. So for me, I went to Instagram. Uh, I feel like social media nowadays is the main way to find um, an artist. You definitely can go by either word of mouth. I always get asked who my artist is and I think that's an awesome way um, to find new artists. I think I followed the shop that she was at at that time and then I saw them post her work and tag her and then I went onto her page and followed her. So that's how I found her and I was following her for a little bit just you know looking at her artwork. I really connected with it whenever I first saw her but then after she started posting more and I saw more of her um, pieces I really just knew that I wanted to get at least one from her and then after I you know booked with her and had my first session and everything. I felt super comfortable with her so I that kind of confirmed for me that I wanted to stick with her. So for me, not only finding a talented artist is important, but it's also super important for me to feel comfortable when I'm getting tattooed. The process itself is going to be painful, so it just makes sense for me to have somebody who's easy to talk to and someone I can kind of relate to and feel at ease with. I don't know if anybody else can relate, but I, for some reason, feel more comfortable around female artists, so that was another big aspect when I found her. Another tip that I will add is do not let price deter you. Um, I think this is one of the most obvious tips, um, is that you get what you pay for. So there definitely are good apprentices who you know are gonna have a lower price since they are just starting out, but for most cases, you're gonna get what you pay for. Whatever tattoo you're getting is gonna be on you for the rest of your life, so you have to look at it as a lifetime investment. Another thing is don't be afraid to travel. Like I said earlier, to get this piece, I traveled two hours, and now that I live in Orlando and she relocated, she luckily relocated somewhere that also is two hours, two and a half hours-ish away, so I do have to travel whenever I go get new tattoos, but for me, that's not a huge issue. Another thing that you might want to check out whenever picking an artist is not only looking at the artist, but also looking at the shop that they currently work in. I had an experience with one of my other tattoos. I do not want to mention which one, but um, the artist was great. The location was not so great. It was kind of not the cleanest shop that I've been in and uh, was kind of run weird. So that experience was kind of odd in a sense. But yeah, I would say definitely go to a respectable artist that works in a respectable shop. Another thing with picking an artist that you need to focus on is what their style is and what the style of tattoo you want. So for example, say you are looking for a traditional piece, you're not going to want to go to an artist who specializes in Japanese tattoos. Some artists are very well versed and are good at all different types of styles, but it's kind of more common that a tattoo artist is going to have one or two specific styles that they really excel in. So I would say definitely find somebody that has the style that you want. That way when you do go to get your piece and you have them kind of customize it because you do not want to get someone someone's exact tattoo whenever they customize it you're gonna want to have them be able to do it in the style that you want as opposed to maybe wanting a traditional style tattoo and getting Japanese waves in the background so I think that's all of the tips that I have for kind of picking an artist I hope that this helped in a way and I hope that you guys got a little more info on my first big piece of my sleeve. I kind of have written down some ideas that I want to uh, talk about with all of my other current tattoos that I have on my arm, so look out for those videos. If you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Either way, you're helping your girl out. Um, leave a comment with how you kind of found your first artist, did you find them? through Instagram? Did a friend tell you about them? Did you walk into a shop and say, give me this tattoo? 
how did it happen? Just let me know in the comments down below. I hope you subscribe so you can see future tattoo and beauty related videos from me. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. Come here. Chuck brought me his balloon. Come here. Come here. He brought me his balloon again. We're playing fetch.